Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi from vlemon.com and I'm back with another Nginx web server video and in this video we will learn how to use custom error page on your Nginx web server. We are using Nginx as a web server on our Ubuntu 18.04. For this video we are going to refer this blog post. The blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. So let's start first. Let me switch back to compute engine page. Okay, I'm going to first launch the SSH panel inside browser. And let me quickly arrange my windows. Our SSH panel is started successfully. The first thing I want to do, I want to check the engine X default document directory. Okay, so by default or on Ubuntu, it is user share engine X HTML. So I'm going to copy this first line and I'm going to paste it inside terminal. Okay. So let me paste it just here, hit enter. So we are on Ubuntu, we are on engine X default document directory for Ubuntu. Okay. Now I want to list down all the contents. Okay. So this is index.html file. Let me quickly open index.html inside Nano editor. And the content for this. Okay. So let me uh, quickly visit my server. So I'm going to copy this IP address and let me quickly visit this IP address index. I'm going to replace this with uh, this path. I hope I did not delete it. Yes, I did not delete it this uh, index.html file. Okay. So the content for this default index.html file is same as available in this index.html file. Welcome to Nginx. Okay, so welcome to Nginx. This is Nginx.org available on Nginx.com. Okay, so this is the default document directory for Nginx on Ubuntu 18.04. Okay, we are going to use the same directory for creating the common error pages. Okay, if you are going to host multiple websites, then for all the website, we are going to use the same custom error message and all those error message files are available in this user share nginx html directory okay so let me quickly close this nano editor for this i'm going to press ctrl x from my keyboard the next thing we need to create two set of we need to create two error file okay one is for handling 404 error and another is for another is a generic file to handle 500 error message okay so let me quickly create these two files. The first file is custom underscore error underscore 404.html. So I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to paste it inside nano editor. Okay, so this command is going to open a nano editor with file name custom underscore error underscore 404.html file for personal group or online training contact us. Now you have two options. Either you can use your own HTML code or you can copy this sample HTML code. So I'm going to copy this sample uh, HTML code and I'm going to paste it just here. Okay. So we are done with the content for custom underscore error underscore 404 dot HTML file. To save this file, I'm going to press control O from my keyboard, hit enter for confirm and then control X to close the nano editor. Similarly, we need to create our another error file and this time we are going to copy this command sudo nano custom underscore error underscore 50 x dot html it is a generic file for all types of 500 error message so i'm going to paste it just here in the terminal hit enter again this command is going to open a nano editor with file name custom underscore error underscore 50 x dot html okay again I'm going to copy the HTML code from my blog post. If you have your own HTML file, feel free to use it. Okay. To save these changes, I'm going to press Ctrl O and to close the nano editor, I'm going to press Ctrl X from my keyboard. So our files are ready. The next thing we need to edit the Nginx configuration. So I'm using the default website on my Nginx web server. So that's why we are going to configure only the default configuration. For this, I'm going to copy this next command. This command is going to open the default config file inside nano editor. So I'm going to paste this command and then hit enter. 
okay inside this default configuration file we need to add all these lines okay so let me first explain the purpose for all this line the first is for error page 404 okay so this is custom underscore error underscore 404 dot html we created this okay then the location for custom underscore error underscore 404 dot html it is user share nginx html okay similarly for other 500 502 503 504 error message we are using custom error underscore 50 x dot html file and the location for custom underscore error underscore 50 dot x html file is available on user share nginx hyphen html okay and this is last block is for generating a custom 500 message okay so here we are defining a location for this location this path is not exist on my ubuntu vm machine okay so that's why if we are going to visit this url our server is going to display a, going to display a 505 message okay so let me quickly copy these lines and then i'm going to open my nano editor and then i'm going to paste all these lines let's say after this uh, location php so let me quickly paste it so we are done with the changes default configuration changes ensure the path is correct there is no, no if you are using your own name ensure the path is correct the file name is correct so let me qu quickly press ctrl o to save these changes and ctrl x to close the nano editor the next thing we need to test the nginx configuration for this i'm going to copy this first command and then i'm going to let me first clear the terminal okay and then i'm going to paste this command so our configuration test is successful okay nothing is wrong if anything is wrong with you you need to first fix the issue before restarting the nginx services okay so let's say if you are using this on your live environment and without checking the configuration file you if you restarted the nginx server then maybe there is a potential down, uh, downtime on your admin environment so that's why you need to first test the configuration file and then you need to restart it so i'm going to copy this next command to restart nginx server and then inside terminal i'm going to paste it hit enter my nginx services are restarted successfully the next thing we need to test our custom error pages for this i'm going to use this first url okay in this url you need to enter your own ip address or domain so let me copy only the second part file file not found dot html this file not found html is not available on my web directory so let me quickly copy this and i'm going to paste my html file just here okay so 50x page not found add your own home page go home this is a demo custom error page used for nginx custom error page tutorial by mayang sangvi if you are interested in more free 404 page okay so i think this is my code issue okay so i'm using the same code for both the files so i need to fix this i'm going to fix it after this video okay but actually this is a 404 error message okay you can check this here 404 page i forgot to change the h1 heading so i'm going to change it later now for our 500 error message i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to paste it just here hit enter and this is 500 page okay these are the steps to use your own custom error page on nginx web server with ubuntu os in this video we only handle two types of error 404 and 500 if you want to use other custom error page feel free to use your own custom page for different error message if you are using if you are going to create your own custom error page for 502 503 then you need to edit the configuration based on your requirement 
okay so here for all types of 500 error message i am using the same html file if you want to use separate 500 502 503 504 error message then you need to repeat or you need to copy this and paste it and then you need to remove the specific number okay you need to only use the specific number for which the error page is. you need to you need to use the specific number based on the your custom error html file so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to click on like subscribe share it with everyone provide your feedback and see you all in next compute engine tutorial video some important warnings